And good morning everyone, this is East Texas Storm Team Meteorologist Andrew Samet. We've seen those showers and storms from earlier this morning. They have mostly moved through the area, but we are still seeing a few showers out there. We'll get to that in just a bit. But let's take a look at what rainfall totals so far. This is uh, radar estimated rainfall totals for us. And so this is not going to be exact amounts, but it just gives us a good idea about how much rain we saw. And uh, yeah, we could have picked up over three inches in parts of Franklin County, and then also into parts of Titus County as well, over maybe upwards of two and a half inches, according to radar, into Cass County. Some areas picking up about two to three inches, perhaps. So definitely a good rainfall for us as these storms moved on through. So we'll definitely take as much as we can get. Let's go back over to uh, the radar now so we can see where the rain is and most of it right now is in southern uh, Anderson County and northern Houston County as well. Uh, there is nothing really out ahead of this this batch of uh, showers there. Uh, a few showers in northern Nacogdoches, southern Rusk County and then most of the rain and storms now are in to Louisiana. So a uh, severe weather threat very low for the remainder of the day. It is possible an isolated storm does develop though but overall Again, nothing really too concerning for us. Temperatures right now, there's a large spread out there. 74 in Sulphur Springs. Uh, had some time to warm up and maybe even some sunshine as well, uh, but still in the upper 60s in Tyler. And then as you look into deep east Texas, uh, where the front hasn't moved in, it's 83 in Lufkin, 87 in Hemphill. Again, I am recording this video at about 11.40 in the morning. The low-level moisture, it's, it's a little bit more comfortable in northern parts of the area. Dew points in the middle 60s, but still very humid. And, in deep east Texas, a uh, dew point of 73 over in Hemphill. Wind speeds right now between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Winds turning to a more northerly direction uh, behind the front uh, that has moved on through that was responsible for the rain chances. So for the remainder of the day, temperatures will slowly warm back up. Many of us may still make it into the lower 80s if you haven't gotten there already. Uh, we are already above that in deep east Texas where the front hasn't moved on in, but for northern parts of the area we could clip the lower 80s by 5 o'clock in the evening, and then as we head towards the late night hours, temperatures will drop down to the low 70s by midnight uh, tonight. For the rest of the overnight hours, we'll see uh, clouds increasing towards daybreak, also a chance for uh, some patchy fog uh, to develop as well, uh, but not expecting any major problems there. Maybe leave a few minutes extra time uh, to get to your destination. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast now. Uh, we are going to see those uh, temperatures cooler for the next couple of days due to the increased rain chances and then we really heat things up heading into the next work week highs in the mid 90s Monday and Tuesday and then for deep east Texas it is more of the same we could see those high temperatures by the middle part of next week in a two, uh, the upper 90s. So the heat, uh, even though we get a break from it, it's going to increase again as we head into next week.